We're going to look at one more example of how to graph an exponential function. Uh, as you can see, this one's a little bit different because now instead of graphing like 2 to the x power or 3 to the x power, we're graphing 1 half to the x power. And what you need to know is basically how that relates. So if we look at just a uh, nice little 1 half, what we can do is we can actually rewrite 1 half. Uh, if you want to rewrite 1 half, you can rewrite it as 2 to the negative 1 power. And then what that means is since we are raising that to the x power, what you can do is you can uh, basically uh, raise an exponent by an exponent. So as you can see, uh, 1 half uh, to the x power is the same thing as 2 to the negative x power. So those are actually the same thing. So don't let a fraction as a base uh, throw you off because it's actually stuff that we have done in the past. So we'll look. Uh, again, when you do this, you'll get 0, 1. My pen will write. If I plug in 1, uh, this time I will get 1 half. If I plug in 2, I will get 1 fourth. Plug in 3, and you'll get 1 eighth. So we can graph those values. So this is part of our graph. Whoops, I went a little bit below the line. Let me draw that again. Maybe I'll connect my dots a little bit better. Okay, and then we can also plug in some negative values. So uh, we could either do 1 half to the negative 1 power, or come down here and say it'd be 2 to the negative negative 1 power, which would be 2 to the first. So that'll be 2. Negative 2 will give us 4, and then negative 3 will give us 8. 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8. So our graph would look a little something like this. Now, as you can see, uh, what we've studied in the past is that this is actually talking about a negative b. So what negative b causes your graph to reflect about the y-axis? So uh, when our, our original function of just 2 to the x power looks a little something like this. I may have missed some dots in there, but that's okay. When you reflect that about the y-axis, those two graphs should actually overlap. So you can see what a negative b does to your graph.